Welcome to Pegasim challenge number three. Today's challenge is the weasel limbo. Uh, objective is to fly within two minutes as many times as you can underneath the limbo gate. So if we take a look at the uh, configuration, you can see that um, my ballast, um, there isn't a great deal of ballast um, and the CG uh, with the ballast is moved fractionally forward. Okay, so uh, let's get into the challenge. So obviously the objective is to uh, fly through the limbo gate. Um, it's important that you're centred uh, between the two um, vertical posts. If you fly through successfully, um, the gate will flash green. If you try and go through the wrong way, it will flash red and will actually deduct um, one of your um, valid um, passes through the gate. So the really important thing on this challenge is twofold. One is not to go too far back. If you go too far back, you'll lose too much speed and you won't generate any lift off the hill. And the second thing is you need to go far enough forward out of the gate that you generate some lift to be able to keep your speed up. Um, they're probably the two most important factors. Also, um, I try and um, fly at a slightly elliptical angle. Um, because it helps keep um, keep the speed up, and you'll find that as you pass through the gate, if you if you pull pull the elevator at the right time, just as you're far enough forward, it gives you a little kick and it enables you to keep your speed up. Because the worst thing on this challenge is as soon as you lose your, lose your speed, um, things get really difficult. tend to fly as close as possible to the um, far um, vertical post, uh, mainly because the um, lift off the hill seems to be best um, in that location. Um, one of the other key things here is just to try and get a rhythm going. If you can keep the speed going, um, you're, you're on for, and you keep it consistent, uh, you're on for um, a pretty good score. So I lost a little bit of speed there at the end, but uh, 32, that's a pretty good score. So you can see there from the uh, scoring, there's actually a difficulty bonus, uh, which by default is uh, times one. Uh, one of the novel things in this challenge is you can actually change the difficulty of the limbo, which basically means you, um, you can basically reduce the height of the limbo to make it harder. So if you take a look at options two menu, scroll down, you'll see there you've got the uh, limbo difficulty. So the higher the difficulty, obviously the harder it is, the lower the limbo. So effectively you can run this challenge in two ways. One is you win by the highest number of limbo attempts or by score. Um, obviously, uh, if you want to win by score, then lowering the uh, limbo height is the, the best way to do it. It just makes it that much harder. I think the only other thing I would add on this challenge is make sure that you're fully zoomed out using the uh, plus minus keys on the keyboard. And really, you need to try and always keep the limbo in view at all times. If the limbo is going out of sight, it basically means you're not flying the challenge correctly. You can see in comparison to the uh, the previous limbo attempt, this is quite a lot slower. I'm flying a lot flatter, I'm struggling to keep the speed up, um, mainly because the limbo is that much lower. But um, I think there's certainly room for improvement on this one. But uh, it's just to demonstrate that you can you can certainly boost your score just by um, making the limbo harder.
So next week's challenge is the cross-country challenge and if I'm honest it's pretty dull so I may or may not uh, do the challenge, um, we'll, um, we'll have to see. But uh, anyway, see you then.